In question number three, a third planner planned two straight paths from O to F and O to E. Set the equations of each of these straight paths. Well, both of these paths go through the origin, so the y-intercept is going to be zero. But I can use the rule, which is y minus y1, and in y1 in this particular case, if I go from O to F, I'm going to call y1 zero, equals the gradient, which will be rise over run from 0 up to 55, so 55 divided by the run will be 0 to 30, so 30, x, sorry, x minus x1, which is 0. And the second equation will be y minus 0 equals, and the second equation it rises 50 and runs 50, so it's going to be 50 divided by 50, x minus 0. When I put that into the calculator, I get a gradient of 55 divided by 30. And that gives me 11 fifths. So this is y equals 11 x divided by 6, and this equation is y equals x, and they're my two answers for part A. In part B, there is a second point G, which has an x-intercept of P. We've got the distance formula, state an expression, or the distance from F to G, so from F to G in terms of P. So that's going to equal the square root of, in brackets, X2 minus X1. I'm going to call X2 P. Minus X1, which is 30. And then that is squared. And then I want y2, and y2 is 0, y1 is 55, and that is also squared, all under the square root, and there is my answer. So there's my expression for the distance from f to g in terms of p. Okay, for the second one, from e to g, I'm going to call g my second point, so it's going to be p minus 50 squared plus 0 minus 50 squared. Execute. That gives me that expression for the distance. Okay, so there's that. State the value of p where these distances are equal. If this distance equals this distance, so what I need to do is to set them equal to each other. and then solve for p. And there's my answer for p. And then the last question asks, state the exact distance for this value of p. Well, these two distances are the same. So if I take one of them and Math 3 given p equals that value, that gives me an answer for p, which is this. I'm sorry, that gives you an answer for d, and there's your answer for d.